After spending one hour searching for salamanders, I didn't have much luck until I flipped over this log, and in its deep sleep, I found the smallest toad imaginable. Alright, so in today's video, we're going to be featuring the cutest amphibian, in my opinion, I've ever found. So if you're excited, subscribe for more animal content like this, share the video to your friends and family, and let's get started. Alright, so something's wrong with my big camera, but back to this toad. So this is probably a young American toad. That's like the common species we have around here. So this is probably, yeah, like I said, it's probably last year's hatchlings hun hunkering down in that log. So what they usually eat ranges from anything to small insects all the way up to maybe a small earthworm. Now, this toad, like unlike frogs, they do not hop. They have like a crawling motion almost. So you usually would see them on like the floor. They do like small hops. Now we do have another toad species and that's the fowler's toad, but I don't think this is a fowler's toad because if you look at its poison glands, the diagram I saw mentioned that these toads, they don't have, the American toads, their poison glands are separated a little bit and the fowler's toads, their poison glands are closer together underneath the eyes. So this is definitely, to my best guess, a little baby American toad. Now, if you have a lot of toads in your yard, that is a very good thing because that means you have a healthy population of amphibians. Toads do not live in any area that's polluted. So if you have toads and frogs, then you have a very healthy ecosystem. And that's good because then toads, one toad can eat up to around a thousand insects. So that's like the best pest control you can afford. Now, you may ask yourself, what might want to eat something this adorable? Well, a lot of things will want to eat it, but not where I live, I think, on the Cape. There's a snake called the hognose snake, and they actually develop a diet for eating toads. And one way they do it is when a toad like inflates itself to defend itself, the hognose snake actually has fangs that can pop it like a balloon and eat the toad. So that's why they're so, they're basically a toad specialist. I'm not sure what would eat a toad in where I live, but there's gotta be something keeping the populations under control. I haven't seen any like big toads out, I've seen frogs. I think the toads will come out later in the season. Um, yeah. That's all I gotta say about this little toad. It's like a little bonus. Whoa, it just hopped away. Oh, never mind, it's right there. I might just go back and release it where I found it. Let's go. There you go. Whoa, where'd he go? Oh, right there. Off you go, little buddy. And just remember, if I can find something like that American toad, Imagine what you can find near you. See you guys later.